Hi guys, it's Ben here. I hope you're doing very well indeed. It's time to preview another Champions League game. This time we go to Maribor on Tuesday night for the third match day of this European campaign. And it's, of course, must win. Uh, we're coming into this one off the back of Manchester United at home, a game I was at. You may have seen my day trip video, which I documented the whole day and the night out with the, the boss night and... Uh, the chaos that ensued from there. Hope you enjoyed that one. Um, I certainly had a great night. Um, just about recovered now. I mean, we played the charity game a day later, which <laughs> my legs are still feeling the effects of um, down at Bootle um, with Anfield Press. But back to normality today. Back to preview this game. Um, and as I say, we're huge favourites. We're 2 to 11. I thought we were very good against United, just didn't quite have enough to put them away, but they were so solid defensively. I don't expect Maribor, although they're obviously going to sit just as deep as United did against us, because that's the only way you can play against Liverpool without you know, risking getting absolutely caught out. Um, they're not going to have the quality, they're not going to have quite the organisation that Mourinho's men did at Anfield. So look, there should be no excuse whatsoever for not breaking these down. We should absolutely just blitz them from the off. I think an early goal is. It, it's, 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 it's uh, something that just absolutely should happen. I, I can't see a way in which it doesn't. They're a poor side. Uh, Sevilla beat them 3-0 in the last match day and they uh, dropped points against Spartak Moscow as well. So they're, they're, they should be the whipping boys of this group and I expect us to go there. Look, we're 2-11 with the bookies. Absolutely huge favourites. I think they're, they're ridiculously long off to, to get anything out of this one. So look, let's go there and absolutely smash them. We've got to make a statement. We've got one win in seven, is it now? Not good enough. Um, but the way we play against United... Um, yes, we didn't create too many chances, but that wasn't wasn't any, an easy thing to do against such an organised side. So I'm relatively upbeat. I mean, I've, I've been pretty negative in the last few weeks. I know I wrote off our title chances, and I, do you know what? I probably still stand by that. Um, I've been in a bad mood with how the season's gone. I'm just obviously still annoyed about the fact that the summer went how it did, and we started the season slowly. 13 points from eight games out of the League Cup, two points from two games in Europe. But it's obviously not an ideal start, um, but. If, if I take myself away from it, if I take myself away from the heat at the moment and the frustration, um, I've had the international break to kind of calm myself down. I look at the likes of Arsenal and Chelsea struggling to pick up points in the league too and their, you know, their, their fans, especially Arsenal, must be getting absolutely sick of it. Chelsea have spent a lot of money and they're still not quite at the level they, that they should be. Um, although I still think those sides are probably a bit better than us, especially Chelsea. And I think we're going to end up being around fifth or sixth with Arsenal. Um, we're still too too strong for sides like this, and we should be progressing through this Champions League group uh, and into the last 16. And you know, who knows? Who knows how far we can go? I don't want to be playing in Europe League again come come uh, the winter. So predicted 11 or the 11 that I'd kind of go with, or that I think Klopp will go with, a mixture of the two, I guess. Um, Karis has com been confirmed as a starting goalkeeper. I think Trent's going to come in at right back. Gomez had a superb game on Saturday, but. Uh, Klopp does like to rotate them, um, so I think Trent will step in. Matip and Lovren, again, both great against United. Uh, I'm not a big fan of either, particularly, especially Lovren, of course, but they did well against United, so I said they can uh, start to put a run together. We said over time, but I said they can actually do it this time. I think Moreno will play left back. Uh, Klopp loves him. Um, he was good against United, uh, as the whole back four were. Um, again, still not his biggest fan, but I expect him to play here. Uh, midfield, I don't think we need to play Henderson, Chan and Wijnaldum. Uh, so I think Wijnaldum might sit this one out and we'll go Henderson, Chan with Coutinho in front of those in more of a free roll. And then I'm going to go for Mo Salah on the right. I think also Chamberlain deserves to play from the start on the left and then Firmino up front. Um, Firmino just needs to get back in the goals. Um, realistically, we're never going to give Sturridge a run of games, so I don't see the point in playing him here. Uh, I think we should stick with Firmino, get him back into form, because we know when he is on form, he's a class striker. We know how much he offers a team uh, coming backwards and working hard and dropping in deep and linking up with Coutinho and Salah and everyone else. Just needs to get back among the goals, and I've got every faith that he will do that eventually, but obviously it needs to be done sooner rather than later, especially with Spurs looming. And lots of other big games too, so that's my predicted lineup. Uh, looking forward to seeing the Ox back in action, hopefully. I mean, look, you can never, it's never a sure thing. The, the Klopp's selections is never a sure thing. I thought Robertson would have more time on the pitch than he has. I thought Ox had in the same. So, look, hard to predict, but what is for sure is that Liverpool should be absolutely wiping the floor with the Slovenian champions. They're second in their league at the moment. I do not know a single one of their players. If you, if you know anything about them, then leave a comment. Um, I do bet on some obscure, obscure football, but um, I've never seen Maribor play. Uh, so... Uh, they've been beaten eight 0 by Chelsea in previous years, probably. I don't know. I mean, all, all these, all these, all these teams that I kind of had a rant about a few weeks ago after the, after I went to the Chelsea Carabag game, which was eight 0 um, when I got free tickets for that one. I kind of had a rant about how I think the Champions League is just ridiculous. And you get so many whipping boys, and I think you know 
are Maribor better than Arsenal? Are they better than AC Milan? Are, are, are they better than Lazio? Are, are Carabag better than these teams as well? I mean, look, I, I know you've got to make it fair and get all the countries in as you can, and how else are you supposed to do it? You can't have seven teams from England and stuff, but that'd be better, wouldn't it? That'd be better. Uh, but look, <laughs> it's all I'm going to be saying this, we've got to go to Maribor and beat them. Um, and we didn't manage to beat Sparta at Moscow away, we couldn't even beat Sevilla at home, so this is absolute must win. No excuses. We're the better side, we've got to go and prove it. Uh, I think we are going to, you know, the bookies think we're huge favourites, I think we're huge favourites, I can't see where we don't win. We've got to score early, we've got to force them out, we've got to beat them in behind for pace uh, with Oxford chamberlain and Salah. Um, God, no excuses. I expect to be sat here tomorrow night uh, talking about a 4-0 win, to be honest. Um, and there's anything less than that, uh, especially at three points, um, it's unacceptable. Um, and then we move to, move on to Spurs on Sunday, which is exciting, Wembley. Um, leave your score predictions in the comments. I'm feeling like beat. I'm sure you'll be glad to see me a bit more happy. Um, that's obviously the, the, the performance against Manchester United and just the fact that I've had a bit of time to cut, calm down after writing off our title chances and everything. Um, so there we go. 4 new win for Liverpool. Let's get Oxlade Chamberlain on the score sheet. Let's get Salah back among the goals. Let's get Firmino on the score sheet. And Coutinho will score. He always does. 4 0. That's what's going to happen. Leave a comment with your prediction and your lineup. And your general thoughts about Liverpool and whether you think this is absolutely must win, because I think there's no way we can really qualify. Are we going to go to Sevilla and win? I'm not sure. I think this is win or bust. Let's go and do it. Up the Reds. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment, of course. Drop a like, share the video, and follow my other socials too, as Ben might say, on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. And I'll see you next time. Enjoy it out there if you're going up the Reds.